Now you can get up and use the restroom, you know, or get up and maybe eat or something, and then. Good morning, Vietnam. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> Good uh, morning, Vietnam! <laughs> St. Anne's Hospital heading there now. I got uh, I got the Papa Dop with me. So much love and support is surrounding me. I'm very thankful. Long awaited, much anticipated. I'm not looking forward to the lumbar puncture. So say what you want. Spinal tap, lumbar puncture. I'm not looking forward to it. So it's gonna breeze right through it. I've gotta go through a couple of tests when I first or get there or actually no, they get me checked in. And then after that, they um, hook me up to the IV, take me upstairs, and do the procedure there. So I don't know how much access we'll actually get, but I'll let you know how it goes. Think Tomorrow about it. when you turn this on and recap it, you're going to say, man, it was a breeze. I'm telling you, it was a breeze. So tell them. Tell them. I don't know about that. A needle in the spine. It's a just, it's just, needle in your just spine the is. thought of it. A, a, a spine. A needle in your spine. See, I can't even get it together. A needle in your spine. Here's what got me. She said, so they're going to have you curl up in a ball so your spine, spine is, in, is exposed. exposed. So that's the best result, the best way to get to. In a fetal position, basically grabbing your knees. Right near your tailbone is where they get it, uh, about a couple inches above your tailbone. But if you think about it, when you grab your knees, your spine sticks right out right there at your tailbone. It's easier to get to. I'll feel a sting and a pinch, and then once they get inside to the spinal cavity, they can then measure pressure and pull out fluid. Well, time to face the music. I'm here getting changed into the hospital garment, so I'm getting ready for the lumbar puncture. Uh, I'm nervous, to be honest. So, Pop keeps trying to encourage me and tell me it's not that bad, but. It's a mind over matter right now, so here we go. <laughs> All this jargon. Said I wanted to give you the real, so <laughs> in my garments and all, this is such a bad look here. Now we wait. Um, should be okay. It's not something everybody has to go through every day. Um, yeah, like you said, it's not something that you just wake up and say, "Hey, I'm gonna do a lumbar puncture today." It's still. It's a definitely a faith walk, you know. You, you can, it's easy to talk it, but now it's, you definitely got a time to walk it, so. And some of you that have had the lumbar puncture, you're probably cracking up right now, but that's fine. You know, that's cool. You know, it's my first experience, so. Good thing is they're going to be able to get the blood work done as well, so it'll be a one-stop shop for this trip, and then from there, we'll see what the test results say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Then the MS. Do you think I could have you sit up for me, and I'm just going to take a listen to your heart and your lungs, or your lungs from back here. So each time I move my stethoscope, breath in and breath out. Mama's boy? Yep. Which I said I had one of those. <laughs> yep, mama's boy. I forgot I was back there. <laughs> Yesterday, everything was golden. Living my life, all my options open. Reminisce on that time just to keep going. But never giving up the fight till my final moment. Till my final moment. Never giving up the fight till my final moment. My final moment. It was spot on as far as the process because they had the x ray and I could actually see the spine when they made the spot. So I'm like, oh man. So I had to turn, I turned my head from there. And when they went in with the, the lidocaine, novocaine, the numbing, I felt it collect like on the left side and that was painful. So like when I feel pain, I either squeeze or I'll tap. And then it's like you're trying to relax because you don't want to tense up. And you definitely, you definitely feel the needle, you know, kind of hanging out in your spine. So I was on my side, it felt like forever, but it was like five, ten minutes. And they lit literally um, were draining the fluid out uh, from there. The best way I could describe it is if you take two rocks and kind of scrape them together, you uh, literally felt that needle come out and it's like, oh, God is good, I made it through. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I was uh, playing, it, playing in my mind and as nervous as I was, but I felt it. I'm glad it's over and now they're taking it to completely rule out the MS. They need to have the blood work and the, um, spinal, spinal, fluid. the spinal fluid side by side so they can uh, compare and contrast right, right right beside each other so um, 
that's done. I gotta lay flat. That's the challenging part for me because I'm always ADD. ripping and running. ADD ripping and running. One, two, three. It's a wrap. We got our discharge papers. We like uh, bad food. We're out of here. So <laughs> I have to keep a consistent um, intake of caffeine. So I've done two iced cappuccinos. Papa Dog hooked it up from um, Tim Hortons. Pretty good too. I know we don't do coffee, but they're good. Uh, but now I'm trying to get this Mountain Dew going. I'm on glass number one. Now mind you, I haven't drunk soda since like middle school. So this is it's literally like drinking medicine. Um, for real, you may enjoy it, I don't. So also they drew blood. It was like, what was it, like a liter pop? It was like a whole Gatorade oh, thing. Of blood, so it was a lot. I was real lightheaded when I had to stand up. Don't be laughing. It was a lot of blood. I'm telling you. So, uh, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, just relaxing and taking it in, I guess. So, Mountain Dew.